Moving on, 10 members of one plantation church were sweating through services yesterday after thieves destroyed the building's air conditioning units. And it's not the first time this house of worship has been hit. Local News' Alex Finney is live to explain this one. Alex. And so, Louie, uh, the congregation here, they did not allow this to stop them from gathering yesterday, but it still is a huge inconvenience. It seems as though these thieves targeted this church not once, but twice, and this time for their copper wire. This is surveillance video from 2011 when thieves stole the AC units from Praise Tabernacle International. The church had to get new AC units that they now keep locked up in these cages. Never would they have thought, though, that they'd be in this situation again. It's cut. The copper is missing. This time, someone cut the copper wire. To sell, to do what with, we just don't know. But as a result, the church has no AC. It's 84 degrees inside. The timing, Saturday right before our Sunday service. Pastor Dawkins says they still have their Sunday service and use these large industrial fans, but you can imagine just how hot it is in here with 60 plus people. So our giving has kind of plateaued and we don't just have the cushion to make this happen. The pastor says the pandemic has a lot of people cash strapped, so this is no easy fix. 40 years of us being in the community and we're targeted again because somebody has an impulse or a need for quick fix in terms of money. It's just so discouraging and uh, inconveniencing. So how much will it cost to fix? Well, upwards of $10,000 because it's not just replacing the wiring, but instead the entire system, all while the church continues to do what it does best, and that is serving the community. But it's hot up in there. It's very uncomfortable. And our children, we have elderly people who come to the church. We can't accommodate that. And so, of course, that is a major concern when we're talking about so many people inside this packed church there. And that is why Pastor Dawkins, he is calling on the community. Anyone that can help out, please make sure you give them a call via email, text, whatever it may be. But also keep your eye peeled because whoever did this, it's our understanding, is still out there. So that, of course, is a very important part of this entire story to hopefully catch those who decided to vandalize this church again. Right now, it's the very latest live in Plantation. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Let's hope they're caught indeed. All right, thank you, Alex.